All right, one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. And last we left off, we've got giant platform. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to build some stuff. Uh, I did wind up cleaning up and disconnecting all of the cement production. And so I need to get that restarted all over again, or I'm never going to be able to complete this factory floor. So let's get that going. There's uh, there's one over here that I need to to uh, reconfigure and get set back up again. And then there's one on the other side uh, past the a hub over there, uh, which we can get working too. So why don't I get to that and get it knocked out. All right, I got my simple concrete plant finished. It's, uh, it's coming off of this miner and going into the splitter, going into two constructors, which will then turn around and produce my concrete. And I think I actually need to set these up to produce concrete. But I've, I remembered that I actually disconnected my power system. It was only one bio burner and I need to create a power plant somewhere. I think that... Yeah, my limestone is, what, sitting right over here? So what I could do is I'll have another concrete plant somewhere over in this direction as I expand out. Why don't I set up my bio burners over here for now? And then what I'll do is I'll start with uh, some sort of uh, bio burner factory bio burner factory <laughs> i'll start with uh, some biomass uh factory where i can i can actually start you know producing biomass from leaves and wood let me um let me do this let me i don't think i have any concrete right now let me temporarily just put down one biomass burner before i you know wind up hooking up the whole series of biomass burners i'm probably gonna need I'm thinking I'm probably going to need like maybe, I don't know, four or five biomass burners before I actually get to coal. So we'll see how that, that plays out. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work very well. We're going to have to rip some things apart. So don't worry about that because that's definitely going to happen. Let me run a couple power lines over. We'll just do central power lines for now. And then we'll worry about, you know, making our power lines a little bit more intelligent later. But this will this will power this system and we need to get this system running right away. All right. And I think I have some biomass. Or bio, whatever you call that stuff. What is it? Biofuel? Yeah, I've got biofuel. So let's get this guy fired up. Put in 200. All right, and this should all be running. Shouldn't have to do anything with this. I believe everything is connected already. There we go. All right. Concrete will be produced. Let's worry about... Uh, Okay, let's get... How much concrete do I have? I, I don't think I have a lot right now. Let's put down a couple foundation pieces. I, I'm not going to do much. I'm not going to be able to do much here right now. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, while well, I'm building up this factory, I'm going to need to get some iron bars produced just temporarily. I don't need a lot right now. I do need some stuff, you know, to build constructors and, and that type of stuff, but why don't I just get a smelter going to produce some iron bars? And then we can worry about manually converting that stuff over to whatever I need it to be. And what I'll also do is, mm, yeah, let, let me put a storage down. I was thinking about not putting a storage, but you know what? I can always shut this machine off when I have too many. Because this happens to be a pure node, so it's going to produce a lot.
And we're gonna run power over this way really fast. And power these guys up. All right, that'll get iron bars going. This is temporary, but at least we can get some stuff started. I, and I know I'm gonna be, you know, producing way more iron than can be used by this smelter. I'll have excess, but that's okay. I, I don't want a ton in this storage container right now because I'm gonna wind up moving it here shortly. But I, I did notice that I was running low on some of the core components I needed to, to build up this biofuel plant. I did extend out my base a little bit with the concrete that has been produced so far. The concrete's kind of going a little slow right now. I need to get the other limestone concrete plant going, but I also need to get biofuel uh, going on a regular basis too as we start building more. So let me get the biofuel factory set up. It's gonna be a temporary factory. I don't know ultimately where I'm going to put this. Maybe I do put this here and then I never never change it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. You know, as <laughs> the satisfactory is a, really about, you know, you place a bunch of stuff down and then you wind up moving it later. And that's why people want blueprints so badly in satisfactory is because they want to be able to just quickly get back up and running. Oops, I offset that one. They want to get quickly back up and running after they've uh, ripped down their whole production facility and I totally get that it is uh, that's one of the things about satisfactory that is a little bit uh, discouraging is to you know have to rebuild everything all over again but also you know in a way I can see why they left it like that because otherwise I, I don't know the game would be really fast if you wind up setting up blueprints maybe blueprints needs to be something that's a little bit later in the game because otherwise you're just gonna be knocking this stuff out so quickly Unless, of course, they left like little ghost items and then you come along and build them later. I don't know. You know, there's also a concern about if you do do blueprinting, how are you going to wind up holding all of the resources that you need for the blueprint? So let's say you blueprint this just like massive, uh, a bunch of constructors or assemblers or whatever. You know, how, how are you going to wind up holding everything? So you would have to, I would think, you know, find some sort of mechanism in which to be able to store it or to be able to, you know, add to buildings later. It's a tricky problem. I don't, I don't think it's a problem that they're looking at solving right away, but hopefully they do. I mean, that would that'd be nice to have uh, the ability to blueprint stuff out. Maybe what you could do is like you could put down a, a giant blueprint of your factory or portions of your factory and in front of that, they have a storage container that allows you to feed resources into so that you can, you know, provide the resources that are needed to build those items. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just spitballing, but they have to figure out a way to do that. You have to figure out a way because right now when you build something, it's you've got the inventory, you've got the resources to build it and you just make it. If they move to a blueprint, they got to change this concept. Definitely have to change the concept. All right, so we have two constructors sitting here. These two constructors are going to work on, one is gonna work on biomass for, from wood. The other one is gonna work on biomass from leaves. That biomass is then going to uh, get merged into one stream. If I can get this merger set correctly kind of want it right in the middle and then I don't like the fact that it, it it allows you to overlap too far I believe that's in the middle it's hard to see off to the side but that looks right does that look right uh, that looks right so that's this biomass is gonna get merged oh, dang it I placed it wrong ah, I <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Go that way. Thank you. Um, the pains of satisfactory. Not looking at the arrows when you place something down. 
All right, I think that's it, right? Yes, it looks like it's in the center. Does it look like it's in the center? Heck no. Should have been here to begin with. All right. Okay, that's gonna get merged into another constructor. I keep hitting the wrong button. I, I, I'm i so used to have, having escape be my, you know, bring up the appropriate menu button. And in this case, it is not. Let's just move out to the side over here. Okay, this biomass now. Oops. Hey, come on. Okay, this is going to build biofuel. And then the biofuel is going to be put into a storage facility. I would really like for biofuel to be automatically put into biomass burners. I mean, that would be nice, right? Man, why is that offset? It was lined up. I thought it was lined up. Okay, perfect. And we're going to need another biomass burner because I think we're we're probably going to be pushing the capacity of this one. So let's get another biomass burner down. Oh, I need copper. All right, now that we have all the necessary stuff, let's get the second biomass burner down. Probably, you know what? Why don't I just put a third one down while I'm at it and I have the resources. I'm not gonna need it right now, but I will need it in the future. So might as well place this here. Let's get a additional power pole set right here. And then what we'll do is I'll hook these guys up right away. And then have this one. Oh, out of concrete. Put another power pole roughly here. Connect this guy up. And bring a power pole around back this way and hook these guys up. All right, make sure this is set to biofuel. It is. And let's load these guys up. I am going to put biomass wood in here. And biomass lead. Oh, I didn't hook up the other one. Duh. Oh, I didn't finish this off. That's so dumb. Let's finish this off. Okay. Woods in that one and we're going to go ahead and put leaves in this one. All right, the biofuel factory is done. We have a couple biomass burners burning away. We've got our concrete over here being produced. 
And over here, I've got the smelter burning iron ores, or smelting, not burning. Well, I guess it's burning, really, but it's smelting iron into iron ingots for use uh, for other stuff, which I'm going to manually produce right now because uh, I don't have factories to produce plates and screws and pipes just yet. Let's clear off some of this foliage so that I can start building out because concrete is the critical point right now. That's my choke point right now. I've got to get this other limestone to concrete factory going. So why don't I go ahead and focus on that for a minute and then come back and uh, see what we can do. Ah, while uncovering this limestone deposit, I happen to find another limestone deposit. Aha! All right, let's see what what quality is this? Oh, this is pure limestone. No way. Okay, that's good stuff. This was a normal, right? Is this a normal? This is a normal. I've got a pure back there. Oh, we're going to be in the concrete business. I'm going to be the Rockefeller of concrete here momentarily. Our single concrete factory is doing well. We're going to have a ton of concrete, so we don't have to worry about that too much. I do have a bunch of iron already built up. So I'm going to have to get this iron production going sooner or later. I'm just going to wait for this to empty out and then I'll I'll process uh, the ore that I have in my backpack. Do I need to have both of these biomass burners running? Uh, kind of. A little bit. Maybe. I saw it jump to 29, but let's just watch it for a minute. I mean, this peak is 29. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need to have the second one. So let me shut the second one off. We'll just run off of one. Hopefully we won't spike. I don't think that we will. But I don't know. We'll see if we if the power shuts off. Once uh, the excess gets processed here in this miner though. Which it should be getting close to being done. I can then turn off this smelter because I have I have a lot of iron right now. Since I have a little bit of concrete on me, let's go ahead and make a lookout tower and then uh, try to expand out this base a little bit. Yeah, if you want to do quick factory building, definitely lookout tower is the way to go. All right, let's go ahead and get this miner set up. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the normal first. And then I still need more concrete to extend out my foundation, but I want to extend my foundation out that way. And then have the another miner place the same direction for this pure node and then have another concrete facility little mini factory right in here. So that I'm producing a ton of concrete. I might even rip down this other concrete and just bring the ore over into this direction and then have all of the concrete production be done on this side. I need to figure out, I mean, I have copper. Oh, great. Okay, yeah, why don't I just scan for everything? I have copper sitting over here, but then where's my other, another copper node? Way the frig over there. 
Wow. I only have one normal copper mo node sitting over here really close. And the other copper nodes seem to be miles away. Oh, uh, that's obscene. Let's scan again. Yep, that one. And... Man, that's far. If it takes this long, it's far. So, I have a thousand and another that really... That's a long ways away. I'm gonna be struggling for copper until I can get uh, some more copper production. That's gonna be tough. Copper's early part of the game. I mean, I could overclock the mine and overclock uh, the smelters and overclock everything. That's probably what I'm going to have to do, but that is going to be rough. Okay, this seemed to work out okay. I mean, I did give up a lot of space to this miner. I don't know why this one worked out so well. I think it wasn't, it was because it wasn't in between, like, you know, this is encroaching over one of the platform pieces. So I had to give up two platform pieces as opposed to one platform pieces. Well, as opposed to one platform piece, not pieces. But otherwise, I think this should work pretty well. That's going to be where my new concrete production is. I might rotate this to face this lift to face out this direction and then I can extend out and this will be the new concrete production area I might even go so far as to run a conveyor line and put down another lift in this direction maybe popping out over here and going off into this direction so I can have all my concrete production being done right here So this pier node, I believe, is going to support four constructors. And then the two normals will support another two apiece. So I've got eight constructors building concrete. And that'll be a significant amount of concrete produced a minute. And it should be able to keep up with my base. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the copper. So I think what I want to do next episode right away is get this copper mine... I want to get the foundation pieces out in place, but then get this copper mine set up so that it starts producing uh, copper ingots at the very least, but I might set up kind of a triple production, right? Where I've got it making wire and cable and then also have it ready to make plates as well when I have the ability to make plates. Otherwise, I am going to have to go and figure out where to get copper from, and it is far. So that's going to be an adventure. All right, so that was it for this episode. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below, and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.